Not kidding, I can still taste that shit from yesterday. Ugh. Even though I can't read, I love books, and I especially love this book. David Wondrich's Deep Dive on Punches and Lightning. Before I was a bartender, it introduced me to many exotic ingredients that are now mainstays at home. It also turned me on to this guy, which Wondrich recommends as a substitution for Jamaican funk bombs like Smith & Cross. Wood's Navy Rum is distilled in Guiana and blended and bottled in the UK. They updated the bottle since I got this, but I prefer this design over the new one. Awfully dark for a rum without an age statement. A lot of alcohol on the nose. Burnt caramel. Oh. Toffee, brown sugar, molasses, more burnt caramel. This tastes like an overcooked dessert and I love it. It's not uncommon for Guyanese rums to have added sugar or caramel based on the color of this and no age statement. It's probably safe to assume there's caramel. I don't care though. It's a fantastic rum. The most forward note I get in this would be caramelized. Not necessarily caramel, but caramelized. Caramelized brown sugar, uh, toffee, maybe even a little banana in there. This is terrific. Allegedly, the recipe dates back to 1887. The juice itself is a blend of three different Guyanese rums, one of which is made in one of the world's last remaining wooden pot stills. How much of that rum from that pot still is in this bottle is anyone's guess, but still. A word about strength, when a rum says it's Navy strength or Navy style, it just means it's 57% ABV. I read somewhere that British naval ships in the 19th century would store their rum and the gunpowder together, and in the likely event that the rum would spill in the gunpowder, the gunpowder would still ignite if the rum were 57% ABV. Oh, hot. I love this stuff. When I decided to do a video on woods, I realized what was left of my old bottle had mostly evaporated. Even though I'm still sore from yesterday's fireball reduction experiment, I had to try this. Oh, this will be fun. Bad idea. If you've ever had Sam Adams Triple Bock, this kind of reminds me of that. Bitter prune notes abound. <sighs> Much better. Tasting this makes me think of one thing. Daiquiri. Psych! My daiquiri is complete. I use the Simon Difford spec, I'll leave it in the description. All those caramelized notes are there. There's just enough lime juice to punch through while still being balanced. Still being balanced. This is maybe the best daiquiri I've ever had. But if you subscribe, you will see a better one. It's terrific. It's perfect. I love daiquiris with white rum. That was my introduction to the drink. You use anything from Guiana, Jamaica, or Barbados, you have a totally different animal. And so begins the rest of my day. An amazing drink from an amazing rum. Too bad you can't get it here. If you liked it, hit like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, all the advice professionals, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.